welcome back and welcome to another book versus film. Uh, I've been wanting to do this one for a little while now and this is a book I actually mentioned in my booktube newbie tag so you might have been expecting this one to be coming up soon and that is Bridget Jones's Diary by Helen Fielding. Now obviously we have Bridget Jones's Diary and uh, Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason which uh, came out as uh, Bridget Jones and Bridget Jones 2 as films. Now this one is one that I like to talk about quite a lot when I'm talking about book versus film because this book was a real like turning point for me in terms of my reading. I loved it. I devoured The Edge of Reason. As soon as Mad About the Boy came out, I read it. I read it in one go. I love Helen Fielding's writing. I love Bridget as a character. And so it is one of my all-time favourite books. Bridget Jones's Diary, the film, is one of my all-time favourite films, but I think of the two as completely separate things because Bridget Jones in my head, Mark Darcy in my head, Daniel Cleaver in my head are not Renee Zellweger, Colin Firth and Hugh Grant. They are, I mean Bridget, really the problem here lies with Bridget in the fact that I don't think of them as connected in any way. The problem lies with Bridget. Bridget in my head was so much more normal and relatable and down to earth than the Bridget in the film. I'm not saying that the Bridget in the film is not relatable. She's very funny and she has the same kind of thoughts and, and issues that normal women have, but she, Bridget Jones was just in no way Hollywood looking. I also have issues with Renee Zellweger's accent in the film and so that kind of stops it being the real Bridget, the real English accent speaking Bridget in the book. So that's why the, the issue is with Bridget herself, our eponymous character, and the fact that I can't connect them. But I love the book. The book is amazing. I love books that are written in diary form. And I think that's like part of what, you know, makes it less of a related to the book film for me than it could be. Because, you know, you've got March. March begins severe birthday related 30s panic. And then we've got like how many cigarettes have been smoked, how many calories have been eaten. So for example, Thursday the 9th of February, nine stone two, extra fat presumably caused by winter whale blubber. Alcohol units four, cigarettes 12, brackets, very good, close brackets. Calories, 2,845, brackets, V cold, close brackets. And I think that humor in the book, that dry sense of humour, that tell it how it is, this is what it's going to be humour, is completely different to the humour that's in the film. There's a lot of physical comedy in the film, there's a lot of, you know, girl gets it wrong, boy misunderstands in the film, and that does exist in some part in the book, but for me, the book is a completely separate thing to the film and that's another of the reasons why. I love the book, I love the film, the film is one that I can re-watch again and again and again, the book is something that was a massive turning point in my life and so I am very protective of this book and I think that's one of the other reasons why I can't have them be the same thing. Love the book, love the film, would recommend both. Read the book first if you haven't already, I know I'm talking about old films here. Um, somebody asked me in comments the other day, have I read the book of Bridget Jones's Baby? And I haven't because I read Mad About the Boy, which to me was kind of the closing of the Bridget Jones saga book-wise. And Bridget Jones's Baby is Bridget Jones saga film-wise. To me, it's like a separate thing. And so having the book 
follow up the film is kind of odd so I've stayed away from that book um, but yes there are my thoughts on Bridget Jones diary book versus film controversial slightly I think but I have met a few other people who think this way and um, I would really love to hear in comments what your thoughts are if you've read or watched or just done one or just done the other um, if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and do subscribe for more videos like this I am filming some more and so they will be up very soon and I will see you then bye